Hey, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about ultrasound. Basically, all ultrasound is, and, if, and I'll tell you where you see it. If you go to physical therapy clinic, chiropractic clinic, physician's office, and they start putting a machine on it, they put some gel on it, and they start rubbing back and forth and around and around. The reason they're going around and around, you don't want that thing to stay still because it creates what's called mechanical heat. Now, mechanical heat is simply this. If you take your hands and you rub very rapidly, they get warm. Well, ultrasound is actually taking molecules within your body and it's rubbing very fast. And that's when you're using it on continuous. And it is actually creating heat, which provides therapeutic benefit, especially to a pain patient. Now, there's another way you can use ultrasound. You can have what we call an erupted. It will go, it's pulsed. Okay, there's no heat buildup. That's a physiological reaction. Now, generally speaking, what happens is most people use the constant or the heat starting off. Now, you don't do that maybe in the first 24, 48 hours of an acute injury because the heat's contraindicated at that point. But what we've tried to do is one of our units, and I'll just show you one, we actually, and there are all sorts of different type units, and I'll tell you one of the reasons you have different type units. This is one of the ultrasounds that we rent um, most of the time we rent them to clinics, home health agencies, and so on and so forth. Or sometimes we actually rent it or sell them to patients who are going back and forth trying to get ultrasound, and they'd prefer to do it at home. But the, there's two, a couple of three things with ultrasound that are important. With ultrasound, basically, the greater the number of repeti repetitions, the faster the frequency is, then the less penetration you get inside your body. If you slow that down some, you get a deeper penetration in your body. So what? What does that mean? What that means is you need a machine sometimes as to what's the frequency. If you're treating a joint here, elbow, maybe right up here near a bone, do you need to penetrate deep? The answer is no. So you would have a higher frequency because you need less depth of penetration. Now, if you were to go to my hip, or you would go here on to my thighs, and you know you need greater depth of penetration in order to facilitate the heat, then you would go with a lower frequency so you could get. So that's one of the questions your hearers ask. It'll be, what are you treating? If you're doing a TMJ, then we're probably gonna go with a low frequency. Now, the next thing that matters is the size of the head. Here's a little portable unit I just wanted to show you. And you can see this is called the head. Now, underneath this, there's a little uh, crystal. And it may be that big or it may not be that big. But what goes on if somebody's doing a treatment and say you're on this joint right here and you think you're doing ultrasound, you're not doing ultrasound because air resists the ultrasound. The machine knows it's not touching anything, so it cuts off. So one of the things we're asked, we want to say, not only where are you treating, because we need to know the frequency, but we also need to know what size head to use. So if you've got, if you have a big head, and you're trying to do a large area, or you're trying to do somebody's lower back, you want a big head, because you've got a lot of tissue you're hitting. But that's one of the questions when you call in and you ask and say, you know, I'd like to buy or rent an ultrasonic mas machine. The reason we're asking you the questions is we're trying to decide which one of these ultrasounds will be best for your specific purpose. But this was just one of the things I want to tell you, give you a brief understanding of how ultrasound is mechanical energy and that we use it many times to produce heat. And if we're not going to do heat and we're trying to facilitate a faster repair rate, then we would put it on a pulsed mode. So our big factors, head size, frequency, rent or purchase. Those are the things that come into play. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you understand ultrasound a little better.